Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another video uh, by Discover Agriculture and Varanasi Organic Farms. And today we're going to talk about horizontal directional uh, bore wells where we drill the bore well horizontally instead of uh, underground straight down to get water. There are many advantages of uh, horizontal uh, directional bore wells. The most important one I would say is uh, it has lower footprint, carbon footprint, and another thing is um, you do not need electricity or pump system uh, in order to get the water out because it's directional and we keep a slight elevation while um, drilling the uh, bore wells. The water oozes out of the ground without any kind of uh, uh, elect uh, electric power or pump. In the previous video, we had uh, spoken about uh, um, tunneling, water tunneling. Uh, by Amai Mahalinganayake, he's a Padma Shri award winner. So the Padma Shri Amai Mahalinganayake and many people around here, they go for uh, the tunnels, water tunnels. Uh, this is very similar concept. However, we use machines in this and it's much faster. And um, also the horizontal bore well works out to be much cheaper than the vertical bore wells, the conventional bore well systems. In the horizontal drilling system, these guys can drill up to 300 feet horizontally and uh, we, get, we can get water anywhere between 100 to 200 feet. Also the casing pipe required is much cheaper, uh, so it's much more economical than the conventional uh, borewell system. It costs about half the price of the conventional system. Also they do not use any uh, petrol or diesel as fuel, they use electricity. It's a 7 HP motor what they use for this machine and it drills uh, horizontally quite efficiently. And they do the whole thing within a day or two. They finish off the whole work. And it's a team of two to three people who usually do this uh, work. You need to have electric connection at the point. Also, you need to have um, the a little bit water to make the, the, the um, uh, to make the earth soft and to get the drill in. And um, they yeah they do a fantastic job this way. So if you think about how a horizontal uh, directional bore will work, uh, I can kind of explain you with this uh, analogy here. Say this is a hill and the hill just expands um, like quite a bit up there, right? We're gonna drill a hole over here horizontally and this hole will start um, attracting all the water which has been percolated on top of the hill uh, due to the various trees and the tree roots most of the water which is not flown out uh, of the uh, hill gets sucked into the ground it becomes underground water and also this is not like the deep water we are talking about uh, water percolated anywhere between uh, 10 to 100 meters right within that range so in uh, so when you do horizontal borewell like that it starts um, getting all the percolated water into it and it gets into it very slowly throughout there so instead of water falling do the from the rain passing out of your farm really fast the percolated water um, in the hills around your farm which drops into this um, horizontal bore really slowly and it oozes out so that way uh, horizontal uh, bores work much much better getting that um, surface groundwater closer to the surface groundwater um, into your farm without using electricity. In English this palm tree is called uh, Caryota urens whether it's this or other palm trees they usually are found in a um, place where there is rich uh, groundwater which is not too low but closer to the surface so these are the good indicators of um, the presence of water in a hill. So if you find these palm trees around, definitely there is a higher chance of uh, having water in that place and you, you can uh, go for the horizontal directional uh, bore wells to get water here. Once you have the horizontal directional bore well and on the hill, on the top section of that hill, you can always dig up uh, water catchment areas uh, such as the one behind me to increase uh, the water in this horizontal um, directional bore wells. So every year on the, every rainfall we want to cap, catch, capture as much as water uh, in, above the hill uh, where the bore is and uh, we can do it with the dams such as this, uh, percolation tanks, uh, water shedding areas, also increase um, afforestation in that areas along with the mycorrhizal um, inoculation would definitely help increase the groundwater enrichment and your uh, horizontal bore well will 
provide you water throughout the year. So one more way to increase your, um, the groundwater level or the water level in your directional bore well, if you have a farm uh, which are in multiple layers um, with various elevations, uh, if you have a bore well going in the lower section of your farm and if there is um, a farmland above it, what you can do is you can do multiple um, water channels uh, in, during the rainy season, you can let the water go out in these water channels. However, when the rain stops, you can put small check dams, temporary check dams such as this, uh, in order to hold the water, make that running water crawl, crawling water will stop, stop water to seep into the ground, the same mantra that is used for uh, rainwater harvesting. So when you do this above uh, where the, um, uh, the directional borewell is there, this will recharge your directional borewell every year. So you're consuming it in summer, but you're recharging it right after rainy season. You're trapping that air in your ground.